Hello, I'm Mark and today I'll be discussing why I pirate anime. This is a follow up video to my is Crunchyroll worth it video. And I've decided that Crunchyroll is now worth it for me. I've been unsubscribed to Crunchyroll for about 3 months so far and I haven't missed it ever since. The $8 a month subscription service is not worth it for me at all. So in the past I used to binge anime, eventually I just started watching one weekly series and now I either rarely watch anime or I watch old anime that aren't available on Crunchyroll. I don't watch seasonal anime at all, so the subscription is completely not worth it. The main reason I ever, ever subscribed was because I wanted their service to basically be a hub for me to watch all of my anime on and this is impossible. Um, this is a problem mainly because a lot of anime aren't actually on the website due to either their age or due to licensing disputes. My main problem with the service is akin to the problem with modern cable television. No matter how many services you have subscribed to, you'll never be able to watch every single anime. And I'm not willing to subscribe to multiple services just to watch a specific anime. Once I do finish college, though, I do plan on supporting the industry. This was uh, the main uh, moral qua uh, quandary, I guess you could say, in the prior video. Um, I do really want to support the industry by either purchasing manga, tipping the artist directly, or something like that. But for now, the subscription to watch anime on Crunchyroll is not worth it. So hopefully, this follow-up video helps you out a little bit. If you have any questions, go and leave them down in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching.